Hello and welcome back. So we're talking a little bit about contentfiltering.net and some of its features and what it actually does. So it'll help to block adult content online from businesses or homes. It'll help to block uh, phishing attacks or identity theft attacks. It'll help to enforce safe search. We'll go through how that actually works. Um, it's specifically around content marketers. So a lot of the remarketing and things that you slow down your web experience. It talks a lot about or blocks behavior profiling as well. Um, and then makes really streaming and downloads fast. So if you wanted to snag a couple of those topics and maybe run through how do they work, specifically how does safe search work? Right. This has been a topic that uh, we've wanted for, a solution that we've wanted for some time. And uh, thank goodness that Google and Bing listened about how we needed it deployed. And so from a technical perspective, this can be done by uh, anyone who can manage DNS, and that's effectively a piece of the puzzle that we do really well. And so we simply redirect every Google query to a safe search engine that's forced. It's literally a different filter. If you uh, get the option to opt out of uh, for safe search, it has no effect. It works whether you're logged into Google or not. And same thing with the YouTube safety mode. Most parents, many businesses, they really don't want anything and everything on YouTube to be visible. The worst of all is the comments. So YouTube safety mode automatically blocks all the comments. What about like with the, mo the marketing mode, the content filtering there, maybe with YouTube and the side movies? I mean, these banners or advertisements or you know, even things, commercials that come in before it. Is that uh, realized with this type of solution? Well, those third if they are third-party ads and YouTube does use them, they're blocked. Even double click is considered a third party by us, <laughs> so we block all double click content on YouTube. Wonderful. So there's a couple ways that uh, kind of a new paradigm in content filtering block everything and trust only the things that actually people are asking for can actually save you and your family and your business and your pocketbook.